What's up, baby? This you? This is me, man. Oh, we're going in style. What's up, baby? I'm with it. What's up with you? Good to see you, man. You doing all right? Yeah. What garage you get that out of? <laughs> hey, Lexus, take us to Charlotte Country Club, please. Calculating route to Charlotte Country Club. That's the only woman that listens to you. Coming up in the game, dog, it was definitely not a lot of people that looked like me or you. What was your experience with that? Some of it was kind of cool that I was the only one, mm -hmm. but it was also, you know, disheartening that I was the only one. Yes. You know, and I was taken back that, you know, being the only African American out there at a Monday qualifier or whatever tour event or mini tour event, you know, I, I realized, you know, some things has to change for the better in order for this uh, game to, to start making a turn. But I also think that not having that diversity gave me the, the opportunity and the confidence to come into the game and like, well, man, let's figure out a way to make this art. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the thing. Yeah, it, it goes back to the saying I always say, that you can't be what you don't see. You can't be what you don't see. And if you didn't have that, you know, that proper figure to kind of you know lead or be that North Star for you, yeah. but also because of the competitive nature that both of you and I have, you know, you feel like you can be that trendsetter. You can, uh, you can forge a path and bring people with you. That's awesome, man. This is my home course here. Okay. Charlotte Country Club. I have a taste of Will's world. Let's go to the range. Hey, Will, man. I know I give you a hard time, but you've been doing some great work, teaming up with some of the most impactful people in sports, you know, in, the, in business and culture in general to really drive the game forward for the youth especially. Where's your motivation for all of that? I think, you know, the motivation just comes from what, what golf has done to me. You know, like, I'm a firm believer that golf is culture capital, social capital, is a means of upward social mobility. I really want kids that come from neighborhoods like us to, to experience that. One of the things that I am proud of you for is your work with the Underrated Tour, man. I know you a tour ambassador there. Tell me about that whole experience. I mean, y'all really came in and, and took the junior golf world by storm. Now, when you see the fact that, you know, they're so happy that they're having the opportunity to compete on a big stage with eyeballs that are that are focused only on them. Right. You know, so basically we're just creating another talent pool. It's less than 2% of black and brown kids that are playing on a competitive space. You know, right. that's the AJGA, Junior Hurricane Tour, and you speak to the co collegiate space, it's less than 1%. So how can we grow the game in that competitive space without, you know, really uh, having the means to do so when kids don't have the opportunity to display their talent. Probably never gonna compliment you again, but I do want to say one last time, I'm very proud of everything that you're doing to drive golf forward, dog. I mean, I, I'm, I'm loving this. <laughs>